Hello friends, today we are making black masoor dal. Uh, here I have taken two cups of black masoor dal which is dry. Next in this we will going to add adrak. This is grated ginger. Uh, three to four uh, long that is also known as cloves. Three to four small cardamom sticks that is dalcini. And one finely chopped tomatoes. In the masalas, we will require hing that is esophateda, salt to taste, you can increase or decrease according to your taste, a pinch of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, some jeera that is the cumin seeds. So let's start making dal. First, we will soak the dal and wash it by hands two to three times we need to do this so that our dal gets little bit soft and all the powdered coating which it is having it should be removed we have soaked the dal uh, in half cup of water and we will keep it aside for half an hour and then we will boil it so by the time then we will uh, make the gravy of it uh, here I have kept one tablespoon of oil. You can take any oil. To this I am adding esophateda that is hing. Next I am going to add here jeera powder. This is the jeera. Next to it when the jeera gets crackle we will add long that is the cloves and the cardamom sticks to it. Next is the grated adrak, that is the ginger. Let it cook for 30 seconds or so and then we will add our fine chopped tomatoes. Now we will add the tomatoes. We will cook it till the oil gets separated from tomatoes and uh, to the uh, dal we will uh, place it in a cooker with uh, a pinch of turmeric and half teaspoon of salt. Uh, so only left is our chili powder which we will add in gravy. We will add one teaspoon of red chili powder. Or you can increase or decrease the quantity as per your taste. Let it cook for 2 minutes or so till the tomato gets softened and uh, it becomes like a gravy. We will cover it for 2 minutes and then we'll check. Uh, half an hour is over now. We will uh, take this dal and we'll pour it in a cooker. This is the pressure cooker where we will boil our dal. To the dal, we will add half teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of salt. Next, we are going to cover the lid and we'll take three to four whistles. We will Take three to four whistles and then we'll check. If our dal is uh, not boiled, then we will again take two whistles and then we'll check. Uh, it's four whistles now. I have taken one whistle on high flame and three whistles on uh, medium flame. Let's see if our dal has cooked or not. The pressure has almost gone. We'll open the lid. So our dal has already been cooked. We need, uh, we need to check whether the dal is cooked or not. We will take a dal and see if it is soft or not. Dal is really very soft and mashy. So our dal has been cooked. Next we will now add 
the dal to the gravy. This is our gravy which we have cooked for 2 minutes on medium flame with lid on. We will add dal to it now. And we'll again cover the lid and we'll cook it for 10 minutes or so. Till the gravy and the dal gets mixed really very nice. 10 minutes are over now. Let's see if our dal has been cooked. Wow, it's looking very yummy and it is giving a nice aroma. So, the dal has been now prepared. Black masoor dal is ready now to serve. You can enjoy it with paratha or roti and it tastes great with rice as well. Thanks for watching.